Hey everybody, welcome back um, to Northern Line Place of Binding of Isaac After Earth Plus. Do you ever have one of those days where you like, um, I started uh, recording the episode and then uh, realized that I was not actually recording the episode? That's how you get 13 minutes into the game on a Maggie run where you're making great progress, you're having great bits. It's probably the best episode I've ever recorded, to be honest with you. And then the game just says, no. But that's okay, life goes on. I'm gonna hit you with the cliff notes. The cliff notes were basically, you know, we, we have a choice with what to do in the game right now. What I want to do, because we've played a lot of the new characters, particularly in the YouTube specific episodes, is try to play some of the characters I'm maybe more familiar with, and honestly, they're just easier. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to deny uh, that Maggie's path to victory is a little bit more, you know, intuitive at least than, than Jacob and Esau's, for example. And we'll try to do one of the two new endings, one of which you've seen, and one of which you maybe have seen, but you haven't seen from the YouTube-specific videos. Uh, so we'll either, and we'll see how it plays out, we'll either go alt-path, or we'll do the alternate ending, which, is, you know, I won't spoil until we get there, let's put it that way. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I was really, like, the meat and potatoes of the of the Isaac episode that has been lost to the sands of time, uh, is that I, I was really just gassing up repentance a lot. You know, I know a lot has been said, particularly before uh, the, you know, new content really got discovered by the, the vast majority of people playing. A lot has been said about, like, the balance and stuff like that. It is tuned hard, whether you think it's too hard or not. I think it's, like, personal, you know, it's a personal choice right now. Um, but really, like, I, I'm so unbelievably stoked with the new content they've added to the game. Like, the, the new choices that have been made and, and that they allow the player to make as well. Like, I, what I was trying to get at in the last episode, uh, again, the one that's lost to the Prince of Persia Sands of Time, is uh, I, I think it's so cool how they have more player choices now. Like, you have the choice to go to the alt path. Okay, let's say you go to the alt path. On the alt path, you have the choice to, uh, you, on the item room, I, I just need a bomb, man. Oh, that'll work, that'll work. Um, where did that come from? Uh, you, you go to the item room and then you have a choice between, <sighs> Derek, <laughs> an item that you can see and an item that you, uh, you can't. I'm just gonna be honest, I feel like camo underwear is useless. Uh, so I'm gonna see if maybe we get some bombs from this boss, and if we don't, then I'll, I'll come back and pick it up. But I'm not worried about making sure that we pick it up immediately. Um, so yeah, first you're, you can choose whether or not to go to the alt path. Then on the item room, you get a, a choice, which previously you only got very rarely. Uh, then... Also on the alt path, you know, you can choose, do you want to go into the mirror realm? And then if you go into the mirror realm, you're like, okay, do you want to fight the boss? It's very risky, but if you fight the boss and live, you get an extra item. Like, I think there's so many cool opportunities to kind of leverage and, and have a lot more player choice. That gives you the ability to maybe, and I'm being optimistic to some extent, but maybe like ratchet yourself out of a situation where... Like, you don't have high-quality items, and you're like, okay, well, I only have, like, six more pedestals. Well, now, you know, one of your pedestals is actually two pedestals, and then if you really, you know, you think you're hot stuff, why don't you become the lost and fight the boss to try to get one more statistical upgrade, and so on and so forth. But, yeah, for now, we're going to stick to uh, the alt path, right, baby? The worst part is, I, on the last episode, I didn't even get, like, you know, 12 minutes in and then accidentally stop the recording. Like, I legitimately... I, I went back and watched it. It's 18 seconds long. And I was just, like, talking to the baby. <laughs> and then I guess I hit space for some reason, and, and that's uh, when when you have your recording button selected in uh, in OBS. That's that's all it takes if OBS is your active window. So you gotta be, you gotta be careful about that. Right, baby? Yeah. She's like, I don't know. <laughs> I got no idea. What do you expect me to have any insight about this? Okay. I love the item rooms. Don't have uh, the means to get into them yet. You hate to see it. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, I was just mostly gassing up repentance and then also talking about loot boxes. You know, I, I was... In my head, I was like, uh, well, not in my head, with my words, I was like, you know, after this, I gotta, like, look at, like, Take Two's annual report or something like that and figure out, like, what percentage of, of a game publisher's revenue right now comes from new game sales or, like, existing game sales, and what percentage comes from some combination of loot boxes and, like, online service income. Uh, you know, it's not bad, but... <laughs> I'm happy we get a chance at Bookworm, but this is... We're, we're kind of getting washed here a little bit. And not just because we're in the dross. Ow woo Ow woo And I, my, my guess was that it was 30%... Uh, for a company like Take-Two right now, I guess that it was 30% revenue from game sales, 70% uh, loot boxes and GTA online money printing casino stuff, but... Uh, well, and also NBA 2K, but anyway... I can look that up after. We, that's the beauty is like, you know, in the internet age, we don't need to argue that much. Uh, the uh, irony, of course, is that we argue a lot more now, I think. But the we don't need to argue as much because we can actually look things up. You no longer have to have like a 10 year long debate with a friend over like, what's the largest Great Lake? You can just look it up online and be like, oh, Superior, that makes sense. <laughs> I think it's like Superior. I, I remember because I had an argument with a friend of mine and I was like so adamant that it was Lake Ontario and he was like you have no idea what you're talking about and I was like I don't know I'm pretty good at trivia and I must admit that he was absolutely correct and I was absolutely wrong I mean it was a long time ago um I, I simply I mean this is an issue where I, you know I was just gassing you up repentance and then you go and you hit me with something like this a boss fight that actually seems like it may take me like 10 minutes to get through just by itself. You know what we gotta do? We gotta recognize that he does two charges. After the second charge, that's where we just smack him. You can get in a lot more damage that way. Okay, so charge me, and then charge me again. And then I get an opportunity to smack you. And okay, maybe, maybe the problem lied within. Or lied beneath, like Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer in the movie of the same name. By the way, I'm just a, a nice elbow, buddy. Um, by the way, all I'm saying, we got a... Uh, no. <laughs> we got a 1% chance of a deal with the devil. There's always a chance. Literally just stood there, but... So you're saying there's a chance. Not my finest fight, baby. But that's okay. It's a good item. That's the best thing I'll say about that. It's a good item. Infest. And we got infest. I just like to know what the pill is at the end of the floor, okay? Curse of the Blind. Alright, so everything's gonna actually be uh, invisible to us here, but that's okay. I do see the Tinted Rock, rest assured. I do see the Tinted Rock. I can't really blow it up if we want to stay on the alt path. I can't blow it up yet, at least. But I will also say that it seems increasingly unlikely we got the gas to stay on the alt path. So, you know, we can exercise another choice and instead try to put ourselves on, like, the, the true ending path. Uh, instead of just trying to force it in one particular direction instead of the other. I really thought I could just dodge that. Um... Yeah, we, I mean, we'll worry about that, like, when we do or don't get bombs, I suppose, but... It's very hard to kill Maggie. She's, she's, you know, yum heart, tanky. We, we, we do need some offense, though. And I, I would say, like, the, the sooner we can get it, the better. Which I guess is probably something I didn't need to hedge in, like, the idea that it's even modestly controversial. Alright, um, Taurus is pretty dangerous. But 0 0.85 speed is not that bad. We did get a speed up. Oh, I don't know what I thought that was going to do. Um, but we need more speed to really make this pop. Like, this is not doing great work for us. Um, so here's, here's my plan, alright? I think this is actually a great boss for this. We just chill until we get two speed, then we run in there and ruin his life. We use no bombs, because the bombs could still get us to the alt path. Very close to getting this 
Invincibility, get in there! Okay, I... You know what, we're using one bomb. I, I regret it, I, re I regret everything! I regret everything! It's the worst, because I think if we actually hadn't gotten stuck on the architecture, I probably would have been able to... Uh, get through that and, and do enough damage without risking it or risking a bomb for that matter. Um, but what's done is done. We get a, a, a very modest damage up along with some HP. And, and I'm going to be real with you, this is not an alt path worthy run right now. If you want to get me to believe, then go ahead and give me some bombs over the rest of the floor. But, but for the time being, this is not alt path worthy. We could dip down to the other floor for a second and then come back up, I think. Well, I don't know if that works, because we're like... You know, the, the, the alt path and the real path are offset by one. So I, I, it beats me, honestly. So I, I got a genius idea, okay? We're going to wait for this to tick to two. I, I walked into him. I'm so stupid. <laughs> but, and then this was the game plan, is that, you know, you go into the curse room with your invincibility intact. Of course, we're still going to lose... A full heart because we walked into the enemy like an idiot, but come on, give me something worthwhile here. Okay, it's functionally essentially worthless, but you know, it's, it's the thought that counts. I think we got to acknowledge here that, it, I mean, simply put, we're not going to get enough bombs unless we go into the mirror anyway. I, I think we got to acknowledge this is one where we say, you know what, we were engaged in folly. We thought we had the, the gas necessary and we don't. Take me down to the normal floors. I'm, I'm ready to go back to the normal floors. All right, now I'm, I'm about to reveal like an enormous spoiler. So if you're like totally dead set on not having anything in Isaac spoiled for you, be forewarned, okay? I'm not gonna just like gleefully drop something like I know something you don't know, but I am gonna reveal a the, the way that you get to the true path because it's it's mechanically relevant for us so consider this your uh, over and above the call of duty uh spoiler warning in order to get to uh the alt path you go to the depths having unlocked the super door you beat mom and then you teleport out of the mom fight and you go through the door now, I don't know if it only works with the Fool card, but it definitely works with the Fool card. I think it works with all teleporting. However, you, you can always get a Fool card on the Depths via a, a Tinted Skull. So if you, if you look long and hard, you can find what needs to be found. So there's, there's our new methodology, okay? That, that's our new way of living. When we can't make the, the full alt path run work, that's what we're going to try to do. Oh, baby. What what are you belly aching about? Have you already mastered the toy? I don't think so. I mean, it's pretty complicated. I don't want to flex. It's the Large Hadron Collider. Yeah, we got her a Large Hadron Collider. It's a particle accelerator, sweetheart. <laughs> Baby, I told you no crying until you discover the, uh, the mass of a gluon. <laughs> that should keep her busy for 20 minutes. Um, well, considering we've already taken some damage, let's go into this curse room here. A glance over to OBS to ensure that we are still recording the episode. That time I actually wanted to wait for invincibility as well, but whatever. Ahoo. Okay, now we're- Dude, I can see! <laughs> and I've got a better deal with the devil chance. Baby. Frog likes to hop, hop, hop. He jumps in the water. By the way, can I tell you? Babies are, like, amazing things. Every afternoon that the weather's nice, and it looks like it'll be nice this afternoon as well, I take the baby out for a walk. And I, I think it's good for my mental health, and it's also awesome for the baby. Because she doesn't nap. She sleeps very well through the night, so I can't complain. But she doesn't nap at all, except when I take her out. So it's like she she loves to be out in the hustle bustle and just fall asleep due to the motion of the stroller. Um, but when she sleeps, like, I every... I say like every ten minutes, I like pull the stroller over and I check on her, make sure she's doing alright, right? Oh, you're so tired, honey. 
Yeah, you're so tired. Um, but like the first time I check on her and she's asleep, she sleeps like a normal human being. Like she's asleep in her in her chair, basically. The second time, she's always like slumped forward, like astronauts in zero g training. Is sometimes her neck is bent at like a, <laughs> it's like a. 60 degree angle to the side and I'm like, oh my god, wake up. And then I wake her up and she's just like, ah And then she goes back to sleep. It's it's amazing. Yo, uh, blood bombs? I think these create creep. I think they create weirdos. What the heck am I doing here? Oh no, baby. Frog, shall we, shall we? Flappy butterfly. He flaps his big strong wings. Flap, flap, flap. It's time to fly away. She says, she says that was good for about half a second. I appreciate it. Dude, I gotta tell you, that's pretty solid. Car battery's gonna make it pretty tough to, to actually die on this run. Um, and I, I really just wanted five cents so we could protect our deal with the devil interests. Hey, honey. I, I'm actually, like, pretty optimistic about this run. Oh, we're gonna have to placate the baby in a second. That's It's fine. I'm not upset about it. I'm just saying. I'm hopeful the creep just shreds here, by the way. That's the reason I wanted to use it. But it's not really the bomb damage. It's more the creep damage. Oh, invincibility. Get in there. Do something. Do something. It actually did work better than expected. Honey... Honey, what goes on in the mind of a tired baby? Like, is it? It's one of history's great or mankind's great ironies that when you're a baby, like, you have all the time in the world to sleep, but you don't know what to do with yourself when you're tired, right? I know you're. By the way, many people watching are gonna be like me. To be honest, no, you you know what you're supposed to do. Whether or not you can do it remains to be seen. But okay, honey. Okay. Frog likes to hop, hop, hop. He jumps in the water. Splish. You know what? I think we might be able to get away with no pauses here. Just one moment, please. You know what you want, baby? Oh, you want the... You want the crinkly panda. Yeah. There you go. Crinkly panda. Crinkly Panda, give that to you. Oh my god. Can I have it back? Can I have, you're not gonna give it back? Okay. Just make sure you, you with great power comes great responsibility, baby. So please be, okay, I don't think it did the trick. <laughs> All right, I'm still very optimistic about this run now though, but we're gonna, we're gonna have to put a pause on obviously. See you in just a moment. All right, we're back with the baby, just making sure I'm not accidentally pausing recording on the episode again when I hit space. <laughs> this run um, is good. It's good now. It's still got a ways to go. Uh, this is not the floor of, of memories for us. This is not the Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets, nor am I the prisoner of that, I was gonna say of the Az cabin. Which I don't think is what the it's called, but I'm on to you. It, in many ways, it was kind of what it was about, right? No, I've never seen it, but I do know that Gary Oldman is in it. Doesn't he play Sirius Satellite uh, FM? That's all I. I wasn't. A, again, I, I. As always, I ended up on the right side of history and was not a Harry Potter fan even as a child. But anyway, we'll we'll move on from that. Um, that's what we like to see here. Getting the return on our investment. Useful shops, potentially. A luck upgrade. You son of a gun. V very, okay, I've screwed it up, but very resilient to uh, potential deal with the devil interruptions here as well. Dreamcatcher, I, I actually am not of the opinion that Dreamcatcher is that good, but it is a cool item. What does it do? Um, in the interstitials, like the cinematics between levels, uh, it shows you who the boss is and what the item is. Now, 
That's neat, right? The first thing you're gonna say is, well, that means it's useless for you because you mass mash space. True, you don't have to be such a jerk about it, but you're not necessarily wrong. But secondarily, I I'd hit back with like another question, which is like, how is it useful at all? Like, to, to have advanced knowledge of what the boss is, it's not like, what, are you gonna take more, like, you know, Lembus bread into the fight or something like that? You're, you're kinda... There, there's no preparatory element, you know? Similar to your item room. I guess you could be stoked. You could, you could amp up your excitement levels, but... Okay, I think it's clear, you know, new enemies and, and stuff in the game is gonna be a little tougher for us. We're gonna need to get a little bit... Uh, stronger than we even originally thought we might have to, and that's fine. We've, we've got some really positive things working for us here. I will say, knowing where the, the, the alt path goes, or the not alt path now, but the, the true path, if you will, we're going to have to be a good deal stronger than this. Which is why I'm, uh, uh, what's on the other side of this fight? Nothing. Okay, that's not so bad. <laughs> uh, and a bomb is gonna do some serious damage to you. If I could just actually get one in there, because you're a stationary enemy. So that that's a great example of counterpicking. Easy boss fight, but we, we could really use some... I was just gonna say, some extra uh, damage would be, would be very positive. Actually, does Latch Key make um, chests better? Because if it did, we'd be in a better spot, obviously. Uh, I actually do think, like, Yumheart's been doing good stuff and, and having some form of uh, regen has been awesome, but our, our HP is starting to look, and I, I should maybe tweak this a little higher in my, you know, new model of how I feel about the game. Uh, I, I don't really like that right now with only having one bomb left, but... <laughs> baby. I, I do feel like Book of the Dead is like... It might be that offensive kick that we need. It's it's not bad on defense either, obviously, but just to get some extra minions hanging around us, just just chilling, just shooting the breeze. Nothing wrong with that, man. Nothing wrong with that in the slightest. But I at least think we will see some new-ish stuff here. I don't know if we're gonna, you know, go all the way. Like under the bridge downtown, for example. Not what you want to see. And I'm like, I should explore the rest of the floor, but I'm mad. And I'm going to I'm gonna let that anger sit inside of myself, and I'm going to just head down to the next floor. Bro, I, I can I tell you I got a bone to pick with H&M? So, like, I, I've talked about this before. It, this is not germane to the point, but I, I do blow out my pants. Like, not, not with the fecal matter, but like... I tear the seams and the stitches and stuff and, you know, ma make your jokes, okay? Um, I think I, I have the misfortune of having, a, a, like, a hockey player's lower body composition, but without, like, the low body fat percentage to match. So I, I'm just, like, I mean, it's like Sir mix -a -Lot said. I think, to be honest with you, and I'm not trying to brag, I think I got an itty-bitty waist and a round thing in your face. Baby, you didn't hear that, okay? So I, I, I blow out pants, like, faster than anybody I know. Um, but I, I have heard, you know, in chat there are some kindred spirits. There are some people who are, like, you know, saying I go through the same thing. Just buy athletic fit jeans. I know that you're not an athlete, obviously, but it will, you know, it'll help you out. So I haven't done that yet, but that's mostly because COVID has made shopping options, like, kind of limited, obviously. Oh, we gotcha. Uh... But I, I bought three pairs of pants from H&M. And I know H&M is not like, you know... I mean, I don't know. what, what I can't even think of... Like, it's not Gucci, okay? Uh, but I was, like, getting mad because one of the pairs of pants was black. And I kept, like, finishing my work day and my hands actually looked like I worked on engines. Like, my, my fingernails had, like, all this, like, dirt under them and they were, like, discolored and stuff like that. And I was like, what the heck's going on? Like, am I am I dying? Like, is my office that dirty? And then I changed uh, my pants and it stopped. And I realized... Oh, we should hold this hermit card just in case this does let us teleport out as well. Um, I realized... 
That the reason is because the the black dye on the pants is like so cheap, or maybe this is just a, a, a common occurrence with dark jeans that it like comes off whenever I touch my pants. So like I'm I. I, I really do have, like, the my hands look like this so that hers can look like this meme thing going on, but, like, just because I'm wearing cheap slacks. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, man, to be honest with you. Mind you, I can't be too upset because I do think literally these pants were, like, $26, which, I mean, $26 Canadian is probably, you know, we're at, like, 0.8 to the U.S. right now, so you can run the math for yourself. It's, it's a pretty cheap pair of, of, of pants. Now, this, I do think there's a very important business to be done here. We should very much enjoy the idea of potentially, I mean, luck, sure, but we do have War of Babylon, which is not bad. We can roll this for a bit, but we really do want um, Blood Bag, if possible, so that we can have the lower barrier to entry for Ares. Like, we got the extra stats for speed right now, um, but obviously that's not going to last if we can't stay in Horror of Babylon. And, and if we try to stay in Horror of Babylon without having 12 spirit hearts, I think we're going to die. So, just using our brain. I'm not fully convinced of Restock's ability in a situation like this. Not anti-Restock, but I, I wouldn't say I'm sold to the lady in the second row. She's an 8, she's a 9, she's a 10, I know. You know, John Michael Montgomery. She got ruby red lips, blonde hair, blue eyes, and I'm about to kiss my hot good band. Baby, you dropped, you dropped the crinkly panda. How dare you? There's no bamboo down there. How dare you drop the crinkly panda? She's like, I don't know what you're saying. I like your funny words, Magic Man. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a, what a, what a horrible night to have a curse and all that. Cool. Yeah. I, I mean, we could play the fortune teller. We got a good luck stat. I'm just like, I mean, if I'm being honest, I, you could describe it as laziness if you want. You know, there's an element of that. There's also an element of uh, every run in this game taking, you know, 80 minutes now. So for my own sanity, sometimes I'm gonna cut some corners. I do see, I see it. I see the tinted rock. Do not fear. I see the golden chest. I see the, 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 the cool key as well. How about that? Um, we will take, do you think this is, oh, we will take, I said. Do you think this is our secret room right here? That's quite helpful, to be honest with you. And fighting greed in here, you know, I mean, I don't know. We could at least... Bear, uh, bar none, we could at least donate a bunch of money to our uh, to our donation machine and, and maybe get closer to... I mean, I, I've, this is being genuine. This is not like kayfabe. I heard like if you get your donation machine to like 800 and something cents, you might unlock something. But you never know what's going on in Isaac these days, right? So I'm actually going to stick with Guppy's head. There's, there's a font of disinformation... When Isaac, and, and, and it's not just disinformation, you know, it's people that are, you know, misled accidentally or, you know, they, they thought they saw something but didn't or they've got a theory about something, you know. There's, there's a lot of conflicting reports about, you know, Isaac around the time of its launch, especially. Or the launch of some new content. Okay, almond milk we should not take, but I'm gonna because I'm not afraid. You get a much higher rate of fire, uh, and zany tears. Let's just call them zany tears. I, uh... <laughs> your damage obviously goes down, but we do have... Like, a pretty good thing going here with respect to... Uh, our, our ability to do damage, actually. So, I know you're... Be because of, uh, Death's Touch, and I guess meat to a smaller extent. Baby, you don't throw the crinkly panda okay? You can't possibly know this, but the crinkly panda is a, like an endangered species. There's like six of them at the San Diego Zoo, and they can't get them to make more. They're, they're just like, we're happy, you know, if this is how we go, this is how we go. So you gotta treat the crinkly panda with some respect, okay? So this, this is a, a, a very testable situation here. Baby... 
Let's see. Dude, it feels so nice to be fighting the normal version of mom. <laughs> Let's see if... Um... Oh, you stepped on your own hand. I wish that did damage, but alas, maybe in repentance too. Um, we'll see if the hermit card lets us go in the, the alt path here. I don't know for certain if it will, and I don't know for certain if it won't. But you know what? We can at least learn something. We'll take the Polaroid. Because that's the kind of guy I am. I do not like any of these items, but I do think that maybe multi-dimensional baby with almond milk could could do what I need to be done. Go ahead and get this. Let's just see like how it works at least. I don't really want the eraser. I know I said we donate, but like we, we got to try to maximize our ad advantages anyway. 19 cents? No, that's where we donate. That's where we donate. Dunk, 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 dunk. Okay, oh, dude, perfect timing. You, oh, and th okay, here's our Tinted Skull anyway. So if, if it didn't work, we should be able to use this to go back and, like, make it work. And I'm not... Like, the last time I did this, which is the only time that I've done this, I had such, like, an unbelievably strong run, there was no chance I was going to lose. It, it just couldn't happen. It totally works. Okay. Um... But wait, this just took us to the mausoleum. Is that... Okay, no, this is normal. So you slip back into the alt path. I'm going to try the right side. E <laughs> um, and then, uh, I think if you beat this, you go into, like, Isaac's home. And then you engage in a series of, of very, very difficult boss fights that... Uh, just to be straight up with you, I do not think this run is well equipped for, but you never know, right? Like, I can't believe we almost got tagged there. Like, we, we got a ways to go here. Oh my god, she threw the crinkly panda on the ground again. How dare you? You, you? you have no respect for the crinkly panda, huh? I don't know what to say, baby. I'm, I'm just disappointed. Here you go. It's the crinkly panda. I know you love the crinkly panda. We read the book in the in the bath sometimes. There's a whole like brand around this panda. She's not always crinkly. This is just this one piece of material. Um, babies love a crinkle, you know. To an adult, it's kind of like a garbage bag, but to a to a baby, it's heaven. I got the whole book memorized. Let's eat breakfast. And then there's a bunch of. It's a pretty amazing book. You're supposed to read it in the bath because like. If the book gets wet, it switches from, like, not very bright colors to very vibrant colors. Which, honestly, I think blows my mind more than it blows her mind. But, um... Let's get dressed! Because it's a rainy day, she's got to put her boots on and stuff like that. Let's go explore! And that's the whole book. So, like... You can insult my intelligence and Isaac if you want. But how many of you have an entire book memorized word for word? Not too many is my guess. So, you know, all I'm saying is have some respect, baby. Baby, you want to you wanna read uh, Poppy's Colorful World? Let's eat breakfast. Now is the winter of our discontent made glorious summer by the sons of York. Oh, ah. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I, I see how we're getting through this. I see how we're getting through this. What a puzzle. What a, We could have also just used one of our many bombs, but... I believe there is also a shop on this mausoleum, so we, sh we should possibly take a look. No, baby. Oh, no. She's like... Th this is where both me and baby are like, Mommy, please wake up and save us. <laughs> I know, baby. I know. We gotta try for this shop. Even if we end up destroying the donation machine we worked so hard to build. Isn't it ironic, don't you think? Honey! My honey baby. What seems to be the problem? Are you done with Crinkly Panda? Maybe Crinkly Panda not, is not doing it for you anymore. Oh no. Did you hear that? <laughs> we did not get hit somehow? Okay, we do we have unlimited bombs, but we gotta like they actually have to be placed properly unless we get a cool synergy. 
Honey. I'm pretty sure that she's like, I keep throwing this thing on the ground and you keep giving it back. Like, take a hint, dude. Baby. Loving the cards. Can I ask you a question? Oh, no, Runebag was on the run that, that is not long for this world. Right, that's... Please, please, guppy items. Sweetie. Frog... I, I'll, I'll do it. I'm not afraid. Frog likes to hop, pop, pop. He jumps in the... Dude, it's crazy how fast it brings a smile to her face. She, she loves this song, dude. It's like me when uh, the beta band's Dry the Rain comes on. When they hit that muted trumpet part to, to bring in the second act of the song. If something is uh, that you want to say, say it all right, it'll be okay. It'll be all right, it'll be all right. Okay, that's definitely not what we wanted, but knowing that there's probably a shop, maybe there's some value there. The shop! Okay, we're placing bombs. I have no idea what we're going to do about that brimstone guy. <laughs> Hope, hopefully Guppy uh, handles that for us, maybe. Let's turn, into, turn him into a DVD screensaver, dude. Get blasted. Get blasted. He cannot get blasted. He's the world's strongest uh, enemy. He's the strongest gamer alive. Okay, head him off at the pass. You got it. You got it. Awoo, awoo. Okay, we want PhD. It's PhD. You know, sing, sing it if you know it, baby. It's kinda tight. It's PhD. It helps me win the fight. It's PhD. It's pretty good. I'm, I'm really, I'm doing my best. This is bargaining. You know the, the stages of grief. It's like denial. Ah, oh, the baby's going to be fine this episode. Um, and then it's, you know, bargaining. Well, maybe if I sing the frog song, she'll be okay. I, baby, you got to be careful because I don't know the rest of the steps. Except the final one, I'm pretty sure, is when you become the Joker. So, is that what you want? You want your dad to become the Joker? What do you get when you mix an absorbent pad that goes on your butt with 300 cc's of baby poop. You get what you freaking deserve. And then there's me putting some some diaper cream on her so she doesn't get like a like diaper rash. But um, okay, let's. I think we're ready here. Right. Okay. Dad's note. I forgot. Now we get we get some vocalizations. It's gone. Just get over it. So I don't think we really needed to go through that uh, that whole floor in hindsight. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. We're, uh, just moving on here. So we gotta go through the whole game again, uh, but backwards, which is where I think probably we're gonna face, like, some difficulty here. But we're really gonna give it our all, you know? And the problem is the item rooms will only contain stuff that I think we've left behind. But the other thing is worth noting is if, if you remember the exact outline of every single floor, you can just walk yourself right back to the to the start of the game, you know? I, I think you, you just know how things go. Also, it's going to get easier over time. But we do need to live long enough to make that happen. Sadly... Oh, let, let's go, let's go, okay. So if you've never seen this before, I apologize. I may talk over some of the dialogue. It's not my intention. Um, I mean, it's kind of my intention, I guess, because I'm not going to shut up. But I'm, I'm sure there's avenues where you can you can find the text for yourself. Suffice it to say, um, you know, it, things are not all well in the family situation of Isaac. So after, and, and this is kind of like a big if. You know, I'm just hopeful right now it's going to work out this way. But after you go uh, all the way backwards, you end up at home. You might as well check, right? You end up at home, and then there's some, like, puzzly stuff that I hope I recall. Uh, and you know what? Sure, why not? Uh, yoink. 
And then some difficult boss fights that I honestly don't see us living through unless we somehow get like an incredible item, which seems super unlikely. But I'll tell you what, you know what? Let's try this. Oh, dude, there was some kind of super seed. Did you see that? We got the seventh character of a super seed. It's like playing a Screaming Villains FMV game. Datura bullets. Come on. I, I mean, it, be that as it may, game, could you just give me some of the spirit hearts? Some spirit hearts, please? We got three luck. I mean, this is like an insult. I gotta tell you. I mean, you know what it is? It's because we're moving backwards in the game. I was of, of the false... Sure, why not? I was of the false impression that um, we're getting stronger. But actually, it's it's largely just that enemies are getting a lot weaker, I think. <laughs> but at least we've, we've, we've seen a little glimpse of the puzzle here, right? Maybe giving you some tools that you can use on your own end. Oh, I knew it was coming to us, the worst part. Giving you some tools that you can use on your own end to figure things out. Because we, we are definitely not going to... Never mind, I think we're going to win easily, actually. Uh, I think I'd rather have hematemesis. It, I mean, the chariot is better short-term, for sure, but hematemesis could really do some some heavy lifting for us. Caves, too. Not too far to go. Not too far to go. You're going to explode into something that is quite literally, like, undodgeable, but that's okay. I like that room was, like, already tough, even in the base game, and they're like, you know... I got an idea. <laughs> I think it's just timing, you know? You gotta kill the enemy at the right time, but uh, it's hard to do when you got the flies, that's for sure. But I'm enjoying, you know, feeling kind of strong right now. The feeling I, I, I want you to rest the shirt is not gonna last, so... Don't get too attached to this right here. Alright, we're back to the caves one. Or the downpour two. I, yeah, we did go on the alt path on part of this run, right? Like, it's, it's been a bit of a long one. I don't know. Here's the thing. We're going to be optimistic, right? Like, we're going to try to... We're going to try to do this. I shouldn't just assume it's not going to work. I have a history of, like, not playing very well, for sure. But then on boss fights where, like, you think I should die, something in my brain just snaps and is like, let's do it. Let's win. Hey, baby. Nice yawn, baby. What a cool yawn. I almost uh, got tagged there. Oh, I guess we wouldn't lose the etern uh, any hearts, so who cares? I mean, we'd lose the heart, but not the heart container. Baby, you dropped Crinkly Panda on the ground for a fourth time. Is it... Do you have a problem with Crinkly Panda? Like, are you... You guys are, like, beefing right now? Like, um... Randy Orton and Soldier Boy? By the way, I already know what you're gonna say. <laughs> Can I... Be mad. Go ahead, be mad. I deserve it. You know what happened? Is like, I'm so used to the, the items being, like, instanced as soon as you enter the room that I just, like, the muscle memory was like, just send it, dude. That hurts, baby. That one hurts. But you know what? It does give me a chance. That, that's useful potentially. It does give me a chance to give you the Crinkle Panda again. Because if we get Crystal Ball, which is not guaranteed, but if we get Crystal Ball, we would pick it up and then probably perthrow um, the Guppy's head. Seems unlikely. Half a spirit heart, at least. Well, I still, I sadly think hematemesis is better here, but. This is such a neat idea, too. And by the way, like, and again, this, I mean, these are spoilers, but you're already spoiled if you're watching right now. This is also how you unlock the, uh, oh, wait, 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 it's how to jump, how to jump is back there. This is also how you unlock the, like, tormented version of every character. So if we, if we were able to beat this, we would unlock um, Tormented Maggie, which I don't, I don't even know. Like, they, have, they all have different mechanics in their base level... Uh, their base level characters, so... You know, your, your guess is, is actually not as good as mine. Your guess is probably much better than mine. 
And I, I gotta tell you, if you've never seen, like, the boss fights that are coming here, you're not ready. <laughs> I don't know if we'll get to the ones that'll truly blow your mind, but there, there is some very, very interesting stuff. All right, take me up. Basement one. Okay, the shortest floor in the game by volume. Now, I, I gotta be honest, I thought the enemies were getting easier. I appear to have been mistaken. <laughs> Um, no, 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 that could have been so bad. Dude, I would, I would kill for a little HP, my man. I would kill for a little HP. You, you heard the sound? You already know what it is. Crinkle Panda has been disrespected yet again. Ow, wah. Ow, woo. We're gonna try to play that judgment a little more. Just need some HP, ideally. I do see that there's some available. We gotta pop it. You know what? We're safe. We're safe now. I hate that we had to use it, but at least, at least we didn't die. It was worth holding. Abu, Abu. She's like, yeah, Abu. All right. So yeah, it definitely gets harder. I wasn't a. I, I'm pretty sure on the basement one, you don't come across too many base level rooms that are like. Uh, Double Monstro. Unless they were really cranked up hard mode and I wasn't paying attention. Which, it, it's been known to happen. Ooh, hey. Um, this is regen occasionally, right? Like, at some point we just gotta let it ride. Don't kill me. We're so lucky. And I'm gonna be honest with you, to, much to your chagrin probably, with two cents, I'm not going back for that judgment. There's probably a flow chart that gets you there, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't feel like it's the right play. All right. Crank it open. Get something of value. All right. We're on home. Don't rest yet. What do you do? You explore a little bit. You're in the house. You pick up some coins. There is a, there's a sweet little secret here. I think it's it's right here. You 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 open this thing. Excuse me, mom's eye. This is not what I thought it would be. I thought I thought we were getting the uh, a different item altogether. Or do we rest now? Yeah. Oh, you. I'm so stupid. I think I screwed it up. I think you have to rest in the bed. Then when you wake up, you open this and you don't get mom's eye. Instead, you get uh, an item that will change your life. But that's all right. We can still fight Sans Undertale. Do 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 do. All right, this is Dogma Plus, directed by Kevin Smith. Now, I'm going to level with you. Odds of victory, in my opinion, fairly close to zero. By the way, I've already heard all the jokes. Uh, this this boss fight looks like LaCroix tastes. <laughs> I thought we did, except for like a mistake at the end, which I'll, I'll forgive myself for, because I've only done this once before. I thought we did pretty well on this run, and we saw some new stuff anyway. If you enjoyed it, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Northern Lion. We're streaming all the time. And by all the time, I mean about, you know, 20% of every single day except Saturday. Come watch twitch.tv slash Northern Lion. Follow, subscribe on YouTube. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and we'll keep grinding. I'll see you next time. See ya.